Hello you guys, welcome back to another video and if you're new here, welcome. My name is Selena and I make press on nail content here on YouTube. How are you guys doing today? I hope you're having a great day so far at whatever time you're watching this. Today I have a very exciting video for you guys in honor of spooky season approaching. I'm going to be showing you all how I made these really cool Jack Skellington press on nails using only gel products. So if you're interested, please keep on watching. To start off, I'm going to be applying my base gel and the one I'm going to be using right here is from Beatles. It's my absolute favorite one. And just so you guys know, I already buffed and cleaned off the nails using some alcohol and a lint-free wipe. We're cleaning off the nails just to make sure that there's not any dust or lint on the nail so we can get the smoothest and best gel application as possible. After applying the base gel, I will be going in cleaning up the sides with my small flat brush just to keep the shape at its best. I also wanted to let you guys know that I did make a short on different methods you could use creating French nails. Some of you guys were asking me if I could make a video on it and I did. There's a total of four methods that I show you guys how to use on there. So yeah, I just wanted to update you guys on that as well. All right, and then after we clean it up, we're gonna put it in the nail lamp for 60 seconds. All right, you guys, here are the nails after being dried. Now I'm gonna be going in with this nude shade from RERJSM. This is in the shade 427 Baby Pink. I got this one right here off of Amazon in case you guys were wondering. I'm only gonna be applying this nude to the pinky, middle, and the thumb finger. The ring and the pointing one, we're gonna be doing different designs on them that you guys will see later on. And as a reminder, you guys, we are going to be going back in and cleaning up those sides every time we apply a gel product. You guys, I've been super excited to start doing like fall activities. It's crazy. Let me know in the comments down below if you're that person like me who's usually ready for fall like as soon as summer's over. I think it's because I really love decorating and having little Halloween movie marathons up until like Halloween day. My top favorite movies to watch are probably Scream and Coraline, but that doesn't go without saying I'm also a Disney girly, so I love watching Halloween Town, Twitches, and like stuff like that. Leave me a comment what movies or activities you guys are excited to see or do this fall slash spooky season. I also really love dressing up. I don't think it's for kids only. I'm one of those people that just really enjoys doing it. I'm a 22 year old teenager probably at this point maybe for doing that but me and my boyfriend are planning on being raven and beast boy from teen titans so i'm really excited for that if you aren't yet following my instagram make sure to go and do that it's at styled by selena with two a's at the end and my main account is at simply x selena i'm going to be posting on there once halloween comes around our costumes so make sure you go and follow up my Instagram and also my TikTok at styled by Selena with two A's again. I did want to let you guys know that this nude color took about four total coats to completely build up so that way it's not sheer at the bottom. Uh, that's just in case you guys were trying to recreate this look or trying to get these polishes to work. RERJSM usually does take a few more coats to really show any color payoff and to get it to where you want it to be. Now here are the nails after applying all four of those coats on. It's looking really, really good. I'm just gonna be showing you guys now how I did the pinky nail design. And for this, we're just gonna be making a French arch, but we're not gonna be filling in the French. We're gonna be creating this spiderweb-like design. And also the color that we're gonna be using for this, or at least I'm gonna be using for this, is from Nails by Dev. It's in the shade Lights Out. 
This is honestly the easiest black gel polish I have ever used, you guys. I'm just gonna be applying it with this brush right here. This is my long liner brush from Nails by Deb. You guys know I love her brushes. Pretty much love all her products. We're very pro Nails by Dev over here, you guys, for sure. Also, a little side note, if you guys are seeing any white powder on my desk, just know that is baby powder. I did mention in some of my more recent videos that I've been putting baby powder in my gloves to battle like sweat. And it seems to be helping like with my itchy hands. I don't get as itchy anymore. I, I just think it was probably from the friction and all that. But yeah, for those of you who've been here for a while, you already know that. But if you're new here, yeah, that's a little trick I like to do to make sure that my glove sensitivities are kept in check. So as you guys could see, we just carefully created that arch line. We aren't gonna be filling in the Frenchies as usual, but I am just perfecting any line work up that I'm doing at the moment. And now that that is done, we're gonna go ahead and with the spider web effect. So what I'm gonna be doing is just dragging a line from that arch down to the tip. And we're just gonna be creating that straight down. And we're gonna be creating more um, lines going down the sides just like this. And I am gonna be covering up a little bit more of the side area with the black, just so that way, like more going towards the end, it's completely black. As you can see right there, we have a little bit more space to work with. We're gonna be making these tiny lines on the sides as well. I am using my little small detailer brush from Nails by Deb to go ahead and clean up any little mistakes that I have. And now I'm taking this small little liner brush from, yes, you guessed it, from Nails by Dev. <laughs> and I'm just gonna be creating these little like lines, but then I'm swirling it around just like that. But we're just gonna be like swirling upwards until you get like a web effect, it should look like that. All right, and there's that pinky nail all done. It looks so cute with the little spider web. I think it came out really, really nice. And now we're just gonna be going in with the ring finger nail. For this nail design, I'm gonna be taking this shade right here from Nails by Dev. It's in the shade Whiteout. And we're gonna be using this as our base color so we can use the black after we cure it to make the Nightmare Before Christmas kind of like swirled mountain. You guys will see in just a moment. All right, now while that white nail is drying, I'm gonna be showing you guys me painting on this black Frenchie on the middle fingernail. I am gonna be showing you guys my own little DIY way of how I make my gel cartoon characters, so stay tuned for that in just a second. Going back in now with our ring finger, I'm gonna be taking this small liner brush and using that same lights out shade, just creating this little swirl right here, kinda almost looking like a very skinny candy cane, I guess is a way you can think about it. I am just making more of a like spiral effect with it and then after we make that spiral effect, all we're gonna do is take the brush applicator that comes with the black gel and just fill in the rest. Like it looks hard, but I promise you guys, once you start doing it, it's just a bunch of curved line work. It's pretty easy even if you're a beginner. Now 
Now I already went in and dried the nail, so now I'm gonna be taking my white shade from earlier using my dotting tool. I'm just gonna be making a bunch of little dots and creating little stars from some of them. And then I'm also, well, the first thing you see me making right here is this little cute heart. And then I go in doing the dots and the stars in a second. Alright, and now we're just gonna let that dry. I'm gonna be showing you guys now how I make my gel art stickers Which is super exciting. This is my own little DIY I know I've seen some people like kind of like selling their own versions of, But if you guys want like more of a budget-friendly DIY version to do it, this is the way to do it I basically just went to Pinterest and I found all of these cartoons that I really really liked and I just put them onto a Google Doc sheet you could choose to get your own lamination machine, but if you wanted just to keep it cheaper, you can go to Office Max or Office Depot and get it printed out over there and also laminated for a really cheap price. So I'm gonna be using this one right here, the Jack Skellington face. You're also gonna need to pick up some Mod Podge if you are gonna wanna be doing like something like this. I am just starting out with learning how to do like some kind of cartoon work. So this has honestly been helping me learn how to do that a little bit more but it's also just really easy if you're not really good at doing cartoon work in general this could be very helpful if you already do nails or if you're just learning how to do cartoon nails but yeah you're just going to be applying in a very generous i would say layer of this mod podge onto the lamination sheet right over where you're going to want to create the sticker and after that you're just going to just let it dry we're going to be doing a total of two coats you guys and each one takes a good amount of time to like dry I would say but a way that I found that kind of speeds up the process is getting your own like little fan on it. I got mine from Amazon. I'll leave it linked down below for you guys in case you wanted to try making your own little cartoon cheat sheet for yourself. Alright, and after we get those two coats on, you're just going to want to take some tweezers and just make sure that you have a little lift on it before you start um, doing the gel art. We're not going to be taking it off like obviously on top of where we're painting, just making sure we have a little like lip made so it's easier to take off and then apply onto the nail later on. All right, now for the fun part, we're gonna go ahead and fill in the animation. I'm gonna be using this white shade right here to go ahead and outline the head. And then we're gonna be curing it in the nail lamp for 60 seconds, then applying on that black shade to bring the face to life. Now using my dotting tool, I'm just going to go ahead and map out where I'm going to want the eyes and then using this small little detail brush, it's the smallest one I own actually, it's from Young Nails, I'm just going to be doing all the little small detail work with creating the face. Also you guys, you could choose to put eyebrows on them if you want, I just chose not to do that just because I was trying to do this a little quicker and doing small small lines for some reason are pretty hard especially when you're trying to make an expression and like I said I'm still kind of new at doing this whole like cartoon design stuff so yeah I still think it came out looking really really cool though and now we're just gonna put it in the nail lamp to cure all right and here is the gel sticker after curing and now we're just gonna go in with our tweezers again and just carefully lift up the sticker and it's a good thing we already went in and 
you know, created the slip earlier. Otherwise it would have been pretty hard to do. You guys are gonna be really, really, really careful doing this. As you can see, it could peel easily. So make sure you're being very gentle. And then after you got it up just like that, it came out looking really, really cool. Would you look at that? We're gonna go ahead in with some scissors just to cut around it so that way it fits a lot better onto the nail. All right, and now we're just gonna pop her on. I'm gonna be putting it right there where the arch line is for the French nail. And since the base for the sticker is Mod Podge, it should still be pretty tacky on the back when you apply it onto the nail. And then just make sure you're really like pushing it in so that way when you go to top coat, there's no like lumps or any bumpiness. But this usually does a pretty good job at you know, completely sitting flat on top of the nail. If you guys have any parts that like you could visibly see on the nail still, like from like the outlining of cutting, all you gotta do is take like a small brush and then go in with a little bit of acetone and it should clear it up right before you top coat. And then now I'm just gonna take some white and I'm gonna be creating these little X's and stripes along the French nail. And I'm just doing this to tie the whole look together. I feel like it comes out looking really cool. Now we're gonna go ahead and let these dry under the nail lamp. And now the last step for this nail, we're going to go ahead and use our top coat. I'm going to be using this one right here from Beatles. All right, and now we're going to be working on our pointing finger. For this one, I'm going to be using this silvery glitter shade from Beatles. It's in the shade 939. It looks super pretty on and I will be applying, I believe like two coats of this on to really build up that color. And then after that, we're just gonna be using our black and creating like five or six stripes going down um, the nail itself. But you guys will see that right now once I have it all speeded up because this part's pretty just straightforward. Alright, now after perfecting those lines, we're going to put this in the nail lamp to dry. And now lastly, we're going to be doing the thumb. And for this, we're just going to be doing a basic French nail. And then I'm going to be going in just like I did with the middle finger, but using black this time to do those little X's and stripes along this nail. So I already went in and cured the nail and now like I told you guys earlier We're gonna be making those X's and uh, lines along the French with this black gel polish
All right, so now that all of our nail designs are on, I'm gonna be going in with my top coat again. But like you guys saw earlier, I already did the middle finger, so we're just gonna be going in and putting it on to the other nails. And yes, again, the one I'm gonna be using is from Beatles. It's my all-time favorite one, if you guys didn't know already. All right, and after that top coat is dried, we're gonna go ahead and file and drill the nails. I'm gonna be filing the ends of my nails using my Pana 80 grit file. If you've been here for a while, you know this is my absolute favorite one to use. And to drill the nails, I'm gonna be using my Lavinda handheld electric file. I really like this one a lot, and I'm gonna be using that with my Pana Safety drill bit. Looks like this, and this one I got off of Amazon. And I'm just gonna clean up underneath the nails so that way they look a lot more better in shape. Also, I will be setting that to forward at 10 RPMs. Now moving on to my charms, I'm gonna be adding them using my McCart rhinestone glue. If any of you guys have seen my previous video, you would know that I use this really cool like skull charm and like drippy heart and all that. Well, all of these charms that I'm using in that video and in today's video, I got from the same set from Temu for like a pretty good price. I'll leave that link down below for you guys in case you did wanna check out these charms. For this pinky nail right here, I'm just gonna be adding this spider so it just goes in together with the whole web look. I think it looks really, really cool, you guys. And then the second charm I'm gonna be going in with is going to be like this bat one that I feel like kind of looks cool because it kind of looks like Jack Skellington's like outfit in a way. So I thought that was a really cool accent charm to that nail. All right, you guys, this Jack Skellington set is now complete. What do you guys think? I think they came out really, really cool and cute. They're definitely a great set idea for this spooky season and I can't wait to make some more for you guys. Like I said, I love this season. It's my favorite alongside Christmas. Don't forget to leave a like and a comment down below if you like this set and what other designs you guys would like to see from me next. It is now time for the subscriber shout out and you guys, I am so, so happy. I'm blown away that we're almost at our 100 subscriber goal. We are now at 89 subscribers. I can't believe it, you guys. We're only 11 away from 100 and a little over a month. As always, I wouldn't be where I am without your guys' support, so I really do appreciate each and every one of you. With all that being said, please subscribe if you haven't yet and join the Nail Family. Anyways, that's all for today's video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye for now.